Okay, now I'm done with my workout. Time to eat my raw onion and, and boiled egg. You want some? Nah, I'm not good. <laughs> All right, man, you you missing out though. It's, uh, you're knocking until you're trying. Man. Yeah, I did. Darcy be heavy as an old Chevy that's driven by a guy who got type 2 diabetes. Darcy's the fattest rapper. But only when it comes to the advice that he gets from his doctor. Darcy is the reincarnation of Biggie. But only he's fat, not his rhymes. You like machine gun heavy. Got storage on my phone. I deleted all those memories. Now I'm in the corner of it. Look at you. I'm the best kid, you can't see anything. That's my phone. Bro, can you put your phone against your face? Huh? Oh, I can see you smile. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Shower time. I've been here for way too long. I won't lie to you. Like, oh my God, what I'm doing here? But the world is waiting for me. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh man, Darcy, never tried oatmeal. That's just crazy. Alright, All right, now the oatmeal is done. Hey, nice. Really? Damn, Darcy. Okay, Darcy went away to his friends to go to Nora shopping. He didn't like the oatmeal, so I guess I'm having to take it all by myself. I'm not so fond of putting on my backpack, but uh, everything is packed now. I look like a goddamn turtle, got my stick on. Ready to meet some people, go back to Pollinger. Okay, first I'm gonna go back to Pollinger and meet all my old friends, meet Jesper and Willy, and also another one I haven't been in like six, six years. And then, Go back to Kettenholm, start my journey to Fiendspot, and then more shopping. I think I'm gonna ditch my bag and more shopping. Man, I got really pissed when I put on my bag, man. Totally turned by my mood. Fuck this bag. I'm gonna go pick some cans now and donate some dead weight of clothes. But I just realized that there's no snow anymore, and uh, we're just dying. It's nice, okay? So now I got my money and uh, I was walking down the street wanted to donate this I actually found someone to donate all this to you know my all my dead weight and uh, he said to me that I was supposed to guard his things he's just gonna go buy some cigarettes well I guess I'll go guard his things now waiting on the man Th there he is there he's running I did not make a smart decision 
that's my conclusion of the day. Uh, but hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll get blessed. Maybe I'll become a millionaire. Maybe I'll come back with a big bag of money. He's coming back with a pack of cigarettes. Yeah. Oh, oh you can put them. Oh, ça va faire fantastique. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Right, see you. Liga till. Okay, you fast guy. Film my. Film on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's done it. How you doing? Where are you? Zum zum. Zum zum. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Ja. Så varje år kommer det till sin sansa och så är det något som heter tallbitar också som kommer. Tallbitar? Tallbitar, vet ni. Nu har de så här stora kanske långa. Mm. Ja. Och Hela vägen där. Då har de lätt av allting på vägen. Va? Så, so these birds, they uh, come all the way from North Sweden to uh, eat some of these berries, rönnbär. Uh, they're uh, great, great for bait. All right, I found a Burger King and the bean tema, but that is completely irrelevant because I am going to to Kvaldinge. All right, just arrived in Kvaldinge. There's a cat. I recognize this cat. I used to play with this cat as a little boy. Hey, hey. Okay, now I have arrived at my old hometown, so I can say goodbye to all my near and dear. So. A few moments later. Hi guys, I just had an encounterment with a very old, old friend of mine from way back in the day. I have decided to go visit my old meditating place. God damn, it's Mud River. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Oh, I wonder if you can still fit them. Here it is, guys. I used to sit over there, over here. I remember once I found a dead beaver over there. It was frozen. And then I went to school the next day and was like, Yo guys, I found a frozen beaver in the lake. And everyone was like, What? What the fuck? You found a frozen beaver? Where is it? Where is it? And then my friends were like, Yo Matt, don't tell nobody where this frozen beaver is. This our place. We gonna be chilling with this frozen beaver. And then everyone was like, Bro, where is this frozen beaver? You gotta tell me. Please Matt, please. I was like, hell no, nah, I ain't telling nobody. This is not frozen beaver. I'm staying loyal to the gang, bitch. All right, pray to God for me. Woo, let's go. Hey, I just met my friend. We eating some, uh, eating some of this dry food. In Fulding, eh? She's on the job right now. But it's fine, it's fine. I haven't seen her in six years. Six years, I haven't talk, spoken to her. All that long while. That's crazy. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That multicultural attitude in Kvaldinge. We got Finland. We got, I don't know, I'm not so good at uh, countries. And Sweden. Let's go. Let's go. I'm walking through town. Going up and down. Oh, I remember that place. <laughs> oh boy. There was so many cars there before. I remember we used to be jumping on the roofs of those cars all the time. pretty crazy because this is one of the first memories to the very first friend that I have in my entire life. He lives here. I'm gonna go back to him right now. The very first friend. A few moments later, I mean after meeting the very first friend, he didn't want to be on camera so I just enjoyed the moment. Hey! Hey! <laughs> okay, hey, this is, this is from the whole world, not watching, so we need to speak English. Oh, his dread smells like hey. pizza, you know. Hey, I got invited to, to, to Suzanne's home. I'm having some more just 
say. She said I could sleep here. We're gonna make some tea now. supposed to go to Kualidunya and visit all my old friends and old family and things like that. After that, I would continue my journey south to things for me, but I actually got to sleep at this lovely lady's house. So, uh, I'm going to stay here for the night.